there is the height of the chair when it's pretty much all the way down. Um, it's got some like kind of brown marks or whatever from it being stored or me working on it in the barn or whatever. But um, and you just flip up the armrests on it. There's the cup holders. And then to flatten it out, you just flip this up. And then there is your table with uh, your cup holders on that. So I'll show you how the base is attached now. Because so, it's just, like I said, a regular car seat uh, attached to a base. Here we go. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, this part here, the slot, is the slot that normally this chair's backrest would have had like a um, steel like L that would have came up and then the backrest sat on it that way and you would adjust it in and out so it's just the steel base. Uh, most chairs are, are just this thing bolted onto a plywood, you know, seat and that's all that there is to it. So I just used the stock bolts bolt locations to mount this plywood and just kind of made an adapter plate so there's a, a steel base that this chair kind of like a riser that it sat on and I'll show you a little clip of that I took out in the shop so this is the base of the seat um, you can see where it would mount to the floor of the minivan and you would pull up on this tab to release it so this base part you don't need at all just take it right off these holes here are the holes that you're going to use for um for the to actually mount the seat to the plywood so the seat sits down on top of the plywood bolts up using these holes and then the actual base of the chair which is a metal plate with the cylinder underneath of it would mount in the middle and then you would just bolt that to the plywood and then you recycle this so you don't need this anymore. Um, usually they have like one one seat frame and track system and they'll use it for multiple different vehicles and then they just change out these bases and stuff so that they can you know fit it in a bunch of vehicles, a bunch of different vehicles using the same seat frames and stuff. So just take this off and get rid of this. You don't need it. And then once I remove that I just transferred these bolt locations and then uh, that was it. So you still have your stock slider adjustments. There you go. So you can lock it in. If you want, you can kind of kick it back or forward. So if you want to lean back more, you can put it there and get your center of gravity right. And then the weight, pretty good. So it's not overly heavy, but $15 chair, the base was off of a super crappy chair. So, I mean, it was essentially 20 bucks. Uh, yeah, so you can still raise it up and down. So it goes up pretty high. It's not top heavy. I mean, you can't really ask for too much more than that. And then you just pop on in it, put the drink down in there, squish it down, ready to rock. Here it is, the Chevy van seat chair thing. Thanks.